Right, here we have an old microwave oven that uh, we're going to take the magnets out of. Very handy thing for magnets. Very powerful. So before you throw an old microwave away, take the magnets out. And get yourself one of these, very handy. Magnetron is in here somewhere. That devious device that uh, saved us in the Second World War. Powered all our uh, radar stations. Wonderful little device. There it is in there, and they are the two magnets, one there and there, and they're nice big magnets. So if you ever want a nice big magnet, and you're throwing a microwave away, that's the thing you need. The thing is now getting at it. I think I might need a spanner. Let's go and get a spanner. I'll just switch the video off while I'm doing that. Right, so we've got the tools, so let's... Uh, Got the sockets on this as well. And there it is in all its glory. That is the aerial. And it just sticks up inside that uh, waveguide here. And the microwaves travel along this empty chamber into the uh, oven. Right, here we are, this is a magnet. In case it wasn't too clear earlier on, the camera might have been slightly out of position. This is the magnetron. Essentially, I suppose, you, electronically, I suppose you could call it a diode. Inside there's a cathode surrounded by an anode. The electrons are attracted to the, an to the anode. But uh, in their path, there's the magnetic field created by these two magnets, these two powerful magnets which causes them to be deflected such that they whiz round in ever faster circles with such ferocity that when they strike the, the anode, which is actually um, a series of resonant chambers inside here, and when they strike the anode, they cause the uh, chambers to oscillate electronically with oscillating currents that very fast frequency determined by the structure of the resonant chambers, like a tune circuit. Eventually it goes up the centre to the aerial. This is the aerial, which sticks into the microwave guide, which the microwaves are then transferred to the oven. 
a very clever little device. These are just obviously cooling fins. But yeah, it's difficult to contemplate that there's the porosity of oscillating electric currents inside this little tiny aerial is sufficient to generate enough microwave energy to cook food. Or in the Second World War to power radar. Uh, this is the device that effectively gave us the uh, early warning of approaching enemy aircraft. Could say it saved us in the Second World War because the microwaves can be switched on and off rapidly. So you've got powerful microwaves that can be switched on and off rapidly for uh, using a device like radar. And nowadays, of course, to cook your food. So there you have it. Anyway, these are the two magnets, very handy. You can use them, don't pinch your fingers. You can use them all sorts of, what I found quite handy if I've dropped something on the grass or something, some metal item, and you can't find it. You never find something on grass. Stick this on a stick. Run it all round and it picks it all up, no problem at all. Except for brass, of course, won't pick brass up. But, um, yeah, and don't get it near your credit card because it will take it out. There you are. Anyway, if that's any use, um, handy little things I found, these magnets.